Hello and welcome to the channel. The Central Bank of Nigeria has finally made the announcement. The whole notes of 500 Naira and 1000 Naira will come back into circulation and remain in use till end of year. The whole 200 Naira is already in circulation but like the former will stop being legal tender by end of year and not next month like Buhari had earlier stated. This is in compliance to the Supreme Court ruling of last week. I'll read the CBN statement now, so subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Old 500 Naira, 1000 Naira notes remain legal tender CBN. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, on Monday disclosed that the hold 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1000 Naira notes remain legal tender until December 31, 2023. CBN spokesperson Isa Abdul Mumin, who announced the development in a statement, stressed that the Apex Bank has ordered commercial banks to dispense and accept the deposit of hold Naira notes. The statement read, in compliance with the established tradition of obedience to court orders and sustenance of the rule of law principle that characterized the government of President Muhammad Buhari and by extension the operations of the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN as a regulator, deposit money banks operating in Nigeria have been directed to comply with the Supreme Court ruling of March 3, 2023, the statement read. Accordingly, the CBN met with the Bankers Committee and has directed that the whole 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira banknotes remain legal tender alongside the redesigned banknotes till December 31st, 2023. Consequently, all concerned are directed to conform accordingly. Meanwhile, the Presidency on Monday evening said the Central Bank of Nigeria had no reason to comply with the ruling of the Supreme Court on the Naira redesign policy. It stated that the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari retired, did not instruct the CBN Governor, Godwin Emefiele, and the Attorney General of the Federation, Abu Bakr Malami, to disobey any court orders involving the government and other parties. These are contained in a press statement released by the President's Senior Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Gaba Sheu. The statement is a reaction to public concerns that Buhari has not reacted to the Supreme Court ruling of March 3rd, which ordered that the whole 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira notes should continue to circulate alongside their redesigned counterparts as legal tender until December 31st, 2023. The presidency wishes to react to some public concerns that President Muhammad Buhari did not react to the Supreme Court judgment on the issue of the 500 Naira and 1000 Naira old currency notes and states here plainly and clearly that at no time did he instruct the Attorney General and the CBN Governor to disobey any court orders involving the government and other parties, the statement said. Sheu stated that the president ought never directed anybody to defy court orders in the strong belief that we can't practice democracy without the rule of law and the commitment of his administration to this principle has not changed. The statement absolving Buhari of any wrongdoing with regard to compliance with the apex court order on the legality of the old Naira notes said, the presidency therefore wishes to state clearly that President Buhari has not done anything knowingly and deliberately to interfere with or obstruct the administration of justice. The president is not a micromanager and will not therefore stop the attorney general and the CBN governor from performing the details of their duties in accordance with the law. According to Shehu, however, it is debatable at this time if there is proof of willful denial by the two of them on the orders of the apex court. Shehu ordered that Buhari's directive following the meeting of the Council of State was that the Apex Bank should make available for circulation all the money that was needed and nothing has happened to change the position. Stating that Buhari has been an absolute respecter of judicial process and the authority of the courts since his assumption of office about eight years ago, Shehu maintained, the negative campaign and personalized attacks against the president by the opposition and all manner of commentators is unfair and unjust as no court order at any level has been issued or directed at him. 
As for the cashless system the CBN is determined to put in place, it is a known fact that many of the country's citizens who bear the brunt of the sufferings surprisingly support the policy as they believe that the action would cut corruption, fight terrorism, build an environment of honesty and reinforce the incorruptible leadership of the president, the statement added. Subscribe, like, share, comment and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Sheo further stated that it was off the mark to blame president for the current controversy over the cash scarcity, despite the Supreme Court judgment insisting that the CBN has no reason not to comply with court orders on the excuse of waiting for directives from the president. The statement added that Buhari rejected the impression that he lacks compassion, saying that no government in our recent history has introduced policies to help economically marginalized and vulnerable groups like the present administration. The Punch reported that a seven-member panel of the Supreme Court, led by Justice John Okoro, had directed on March 3 that the old notes should remain in circulation as legal tender until December 31, 2023. The court had ruled that Buhari's directive in a February 16 nationwide broadcast that only the old 200 naira notes were to remain valid and in circulation with the new notes until April 10, while outlawing the old 500 naira and 1000 naira notes, was without due consultation. The panel, in a judgment read by Emmanuel Ajim, condemned Buhari's decision to go against the court's order of February 8, which held that the old 200 naira. 500 naira and 1000 naira notes should continue to circulate alongside the new ones pending the hearing on the termination of a suit before it. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.